Hey guys, it's Charlene. Today I'm making a card with the new Leaves Are Falling layered stencil. This is a six by nine stencil. It is gorgeous. You can see it has the main leaf shape there, which we're gonna start off with first. I do have some repositionable spray on the back of my stencil, so I went ahead and adhered that to a piece of white cardstock. And I'm coming in here with some Distress Oxide colors. I've got an orange and a red, some really pretty fall colors and I'm going to go around on the stencil here and there doing some in orange and then I'm going to go back in and do some in the red. Now you can see I have left the little bit of extra ink on the top of my stencil. I did not wipe off my stencil once I finished with the orange and the reason I did that is once I'm all done, you can see I'm going to go back through here and I'm just going to run my brush over the whole stencil. This is going to allow that ink that was sitting on top of the stencil to kind of mix and blur with the other colors. And then I can go ahead and spritz here with a little bit of water and let it dry to get some fun texture going on with those leaves and then when I peel up my stencil you can see everything looks really seamless and beautiful the colors kind of blend together and I did make sure it was nice and dry before I did this next step I'm going to come in with this top layer and I've got some white pigment ink now I am just tamping this down over the top of the stencil and the reason I'm doing it this way is so that way I don't get any of the color into my ink pad I've got it all down on the top of the stencil and now I can just come in with a blending brush and work it into the little grooves of the stencil once I've done the entire thing I can peel up my stencil and you're going to see the white pigment ink on that detailed layer just gives a really really cool look next I'm coming back in with the first stencil the leaf shapes and I'm going to cover everything back up again because I'm going to spray this with some glitter dust in silver from Thermoweb really really pretty make sure to get a nice good coating on there once this dries the glitter does not move and it just gives you this really pretty sheen so you can see here in the light it's just gorgeous it looks all sparkly and pretty Next, I'm coming in with the mini slim bracket and charms dies. You can see I've picked three out here and I'm gonna be stamping some speech bubble sentiment stamps. These fit perfect inside those little charm dies I'm using I've been thinking about you just because and hello friend, but there's lots of fun different sentiments in that set. I'm stamping these in some black pigment ink so I can get a nice crisp and really dark image from these stamps. So once I have those down, I can go back in and cut them all out using the charm dies that come with that set. And these are gonna look really cute on our card. They are gonna go at the top and we're gonna use a little bit of string, you'll see in a minute. Next, I am using the Autumn Word Trio dies. These are gorgeous. I'm using the one that says Warm Hugs, and you can see I've cut out three layers. I'm gonna layer these up with some liquid adhesive. Just taking my time to pinch the edges so I can make sure I get a nice, clean layering of those sentiments there and once they're done that little bit of layering is going to add a lot of dimension to the card now that my panel is all dry i'm going to come in with those mini slim bracket dies again and i'm going to use the smaller of the two brackets to cut out my leaf piece so once i find the spot i want to cut out i can go ahead and cut that with my die cutting machine and now I'm gonna use the larger of the two brackets to cut out a piece of black cardstock. I'm using a piece of paper from the primary six by six paper pad. This is a great paper pad, especially for adding layers to the backgrounds of your cards. And I'm using this red piece with tiny white polka dots. I'm gonna cut a piece to two and a half inches and we're gonna put this back behind the leaf piece on top of the black cardstock. This is gonna to help to break up the two brackets. It's gonna look really pretty. So I'm adding some liquid adhesive to the back and gluing it onto the black bracket. 
and then I can come in with my paper trimmer and trim off the excess. This is a great paper pad because of the neutral patterns it has. It has small dots, larger dots, and stripes as well in the primary colors. So you can use this for backgrounds. You can use it to add a little bit of interest and detail to your cards. Really nice paper pad. So once I get that trimmed down, I can go ahead and add the string to my card. I have some black jute here that I'm using. I'm using some double-sided tape, so that'll help me secure everything and make sure I get my bow on there nice and straight. I've tied my bow and I've added my little charm tags on there, wrapped it around on the back and secured it to that double-sided adhesive. Once I get that done, I can use some double-sided foam tape. This is from Thermoweb, and I'm going to clip it down. I did get some new non-stick scissors, you guys, and they are awesome for using with any kind of adhesive tape or foam tape. So once I get all of my foam tape on there, I've removed the backing, and then I've just added some glue on top of that jute to help secure it. It's going to dry there. It's not going to actually adhere to anything but it'll help keep that jute attached to the back of the leaf panel so I am getting everything nice and lined up on top there and now I can add my warm hugs sentiment so pretty and get this down on the card I'm doing it kind of towards the middle at first I thought I was going to do it towards the bottom but then I decided that I thought it looked better closer up by that bow so I moved it up just slightly and I'm going to get it nice and straight on there and then lastly I am taking a little piece of double-sided adhesive here and I'm putting it on the back of one of the charm tags and I'm doing this so that way I can get them to stay centered on my card. I'm not adhering the top two down. I'm just adhering the bottom one and that helps keep the other two pushed over and centered on the card. For my card base, I'm using a pre-cut and scored number six card base. These are awesome. They make card making so easy because I don't have to worry about cutting and scoring in the right place that's all already done for me. So now I can just use some liquid adhesive to pop down my finished bracket piece on top there. I'm going to get this nice and lined up. And you can see that adding it to the card base gives it a nice white border around the black bracket. It looks really pretty. So here is my finished card. Look at that shine in the light. It looks so gorgeous. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe as well as the notification bell so that I can continue bringing you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.